Hi, peepsies. So, I think we should all know by now how much I love miniatures and how much I love Alice in Wonderland. So, when Box Launch got this remint set, Earlier last year, I freaked out and needed them. <laughs> My mom found the whole collection on Amazon and got them for me for Easter. So this is going to be our first remint opening video, and I am so excited. So this is what the box looks like. It's got some cutouts here. And then the collections and some more cutouts. So, yeah, we open it up, and then we have this rug that you can cut out, and an archway here, and here are the boxes, so let's open these. Okay, so I'm going to be opening these with one hand, so y'all bear with me. This is what each of the boxes look like, and it has the different collections you can get on there. So, let's open this one. So, first in here, we have the raspberry tart and the cake server and plate. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to open it all and show you more specifically in just a second. In here, we also have the Queen of Hearts chair. <laughs> so cute. As well as... Oh, it got a bit messed up. They each come with a pamphlet and most of them have something that you can cut out. Yes. So this one has some more playing cards, as well as, what does that say? I think it's, I think it's a tea box. So yeah. So cake plate snaps like that. It's so pretty. And then we have the little tart. Which is why I'm going to put them on here. But here's the chair. It's just a hard plastic. But it's so cute. Oh my gosh. So there we have box number one. Box number two. We have this tea caddy and a flamingo. And some drinks and treats. And our little pamphlet is some plates and two more playing cards. As well as napkins. So here is the little cake stand with an Alice plate. Oh my goodness. So that can go there. And then we have this little blue leaf plate and a vase, which is a fish. Okay, hold on. What? Oh my gosh. And then we have some white roses and some red roses. I wish we had some... Oh wait, no, it is painted. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Because they were painting the roses red. And oh my gosh, I am in love. I'm in love. Here is the little teacup that goes on the saucer. As well as what looks like lemonade. I hope this is not tea because this tea is the wrong color for tea uh, that goes in it. And that looks like this. In this set, we also have little Mr. Hedgehog, who is pretending to be a croquet ball here. And we have this flamingo lamp or a vase, or I'm really not sure. I'm kind of wondering if the hedgehog is supposed to go in there. What do y'all think? Let's see. Okay, I don't know if he's supposed to, but he does fit, so that's so gosh darn cute. And then, of course, we have our macarons, which are naturally in the card shapes. And I love them. We have a green, a pink, an orange, and a blue, and they will go on the Alice plate. 
like so. How cute. Next box, we have a teapot, a sand timer, what, and a tea cozy, as well as a table. And our pamphlet for this one is a doily and a card and a menu, which is so detailed. Oh my word. What? So, table for one. Hold on. Okay. Is lined by the troops, tropes of cards. So cute. It's clear. And then our tablecloth is this hard silicone and it has the rabbit there some roses and it just pops onto the table which is easier with two hands but we manage look at that so cute so here is our teapot it is lined with hearts let's ah here's the lid a little heart on top and our tea cozy How cute is that? Now, unfortunately, the sand timer does not actually have sand in it. And honestly, this one's a little bit lopsided, which is unfortunate. But it is still a very cute concept. So you can always be right on time. <laughs> so this is what our collection is looking like so far. Next in here, we have the Mad Hatter's top hat as well as another teacup and another table this one has the mad hatter on it oh no sorry that's alice and again clear table with the same design our pamphlet in this one it's more playing cards and a plate or a place setting as well as a menu question mark not sure so here is our top hat. It is, of course, purple. I wish it was a little bit more decorated than it is, but it does come with this hat band. That goes... There it is. And the pamphlet extra piece that I thought was a menu is for the hat, um, but I will cut it out later. Here is our second teacup. This one is blue with a clear green plate and then our purple mysterious beverage look how cute it all is so far we are halfway through the boxes oh my gosh you guys this might actually be my favorite box so it comes with two hard doilies two bookmarks or seed packets not sure and two more cards First up, we have this book, Wonderland Tea Party, with actual riddles and <laughs> illustrations. I'm a die. Look how cute. I can't. Oh, it's so sweet. And then, y'all, we have little Mr. White Rabbit. With his eyeglass and his waistcoat and his bow tie and he comes with a little heart stand so he can stand up and run along his way which i'm not even going to oh that wasn't too oh, okay yeah anyway uh we also have this little sticker which says if it would focus i would be able to read it doesn't that sound like a lie? Poppy lemon cake, I think. We have this saucer that is a clock. It's a clock. What? Man, it's so cute. And a proper teacup. Which is heart-shaped. Of course it is. 
and some heart-shaped tea to go in the cup as well as a marmalade jar uh, I think that's a tea and lid for the jar and a spoon which is a rose oh my gosh that's what the sticker's for. I'm a bit slow. And look, my cat's joined. So starting out, we have two plates, Mad Hatter and McTwisp. Two uh, tea boxes that you can fold up. Playing card. And then we have this sheet of stickers that I presume... Here's the lid of the chest, and here is the bottom part of the chest. How cute. Okay, so labels are actually for the bottles. We have this red one, and we have this blue one. And the little tag says drink, and the bottle label says, I don't know, I can't read it, but are y'all geeking out as much as I am? Because that is adorable. This one is the same. So cute. And then we have the character-themed cupcakes. This one is clearly the Mad Hatter. And I really don't have words. We're just going to pop them in there. I don't know if that's where they go, but we're going to pop them in there. And then our white rabbit friend. Look how detailed these guys are. Then there is a key. To the chest. And this is so detailed. Hold on. Look how cute. Does it actually fit in the lock? Yes, it does. Of course it does. So first we have this picture frame that of course has roses on it. And we have a sticker here. Butterfly P.T which I am thinking goes on this, which, ah, yes, it's a tea canister. There's our butterfly PT. Um, don't ask questions. <laughs> and here is its lid. Ah, hold on. There is a label on the canister. It's so cute. Next, we have this candelabra, and each of the candles is a different size, and you do have to place them because, of course, they are, and I just know where it's. Then we have this tea saucer. It has this pretty little design on it, and a matching teacup with a butterfly there. And then we have the purple tea. This is from the Sweet Pea Tea. Whoop. And you will have to excuse me while I geek out because you guys, it's a tea strainer. Okay, first of all, it's a tea strainer. With, I think they're mushrooms. I might be wrong. That you can put on the teacup. If you have small enough fingers. But not only that, there is tea leaves that can go in the strainer. Again, if your fingers are small enough. And oh my gosh. <sighs> like, what the heck? That is so cute. 
and the pamphlet comes with a picture that you're supposed to cut out and put in the picture frame, which I will do later. All right, last box. Ah, uh, here are our cutouts. It's like a letter, an invitation, clearly, of course. Then we have Monsieur Cheshire, his smirk. He's so cute. We have another teapot. This whole box is Cheshire themed, it looks like. Gold handle, so cute. And we have a lid, yes. Oh, lid here. Ooh, it's glittery. Then we have this little foot printed paw print, um, saucer to go with this teacup which naturally has milk tea in it because why not and again excuse me while i geek out but we have the sugar dish yes and then we have these sorry you can't really see these sugar cube crumb that goes in and then we have tongs for it, but not only that, we have one singular sugar cube for the tongs. Oh my god. And the lid has freaking cat ears. What? <laughs> Last but not least, we have a creamer that actually has a cream insert. So there we go. That is a full unboxing of... The Elsa in Wonderland Mad Hatter's Tea Party remit set. I am so in love with this and cannot wait to set up a full proper scene, which will, I will probably do in this all house. I just need to reconfigure it a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more mini videos on this channel, let me know. Uh, yeah, and I will keep you updated. See you in the next video. Toodles!